everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to work on a serving platter for Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is on its way I am already uh, preparing all the things that I'm gonna need for my table I uh, had grabbed four of the cloth uh, placemats that came out with the pretty leaves in the background and that uh, I sewed them together and that's going to be my runner, my table runner and I got the round orange placemats for my settings and now I am working on a serving platter where I can put some dip, chips and other little munchies all in one place rather than have uh, four or five dishes I want to be able to put it all in one place uh, like I did this summer because um, this summer the serving platters that I made uh, worked out really really well so I'm excited about that uh, so now let's see what we're going to put together today uh, the first thing you're going to need I grab these fillers they're fo foam scatter and they have leaves and little pumpkins all nice and shiny I grabbed two because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna need both you need two glasses or anything else that you want to use to raise your pieces um, I like these because they're nice and square and I can put my fillers in there and see them because they're pretty and they're tall enough to keep uh, some space so that you can reach under the plates to grab your food so you need two of those and then I grabbed a bowl it's melamine bowl uh, with the leaf motif and the melamine plate with the pumpkins and the big platter that has the leaves all the way around to stay with that leaf motif okay so the next thing that we're going to need is E6000 to make sure that this stuff really really sticks together now you can do E6000 by itself or you can do a mixture of the hot glue and E6000 to keep it in place until it dries you know quicker the E6000 will take hours to really really dry so what can happen is that while you're waiting for it to dry your pieces can move and you end up uh, where they not where you don't want them and with some leftover markings of glue all over the place so I'm gonna do a mixture of both and um, be able to keep it all in one place all right so the first thing that we need to do is wipe down our pieces so that we can have good adhesion so you need some alcohol and you just kind of wipe it down and let it dry okay so another thing that I do want to do is I want to clean the inside of my glasses so let's move this over here over to the side at least my side I know you can't see it but I have a table next to my table so what we're going to do first is figure out our fillers and what we're going to do now I want to pick and choose the ones I like like I like these I love the little pumpkins and I love 
Some little red maples. So I'm going to take out everything I like. And the leaves. I'm not a big fan of these little ones, but... Oh, you know what? Let's just put them all out. But I am going to start with the ones that I like most. Put my pumpkins, my leaves, my red leaves, so they can be seen. Put another leaf on this side. My little pumpkin. Big one. And a little pumpkin. And there is our filler glass. Okay. We're going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to. And there is my second glass of filler. I'm looking at this and I'm feeling that it needs a little bit more red on this side. So we're going to do that. Have a little bit more red in there. I'm going to right. start by playing around with where I want to put my pieces, okay? So I have, I think I'm going to do really simple on each side. Oops, not like that. And it'll be here. This one fits really nice and slug, snug, sorry. It fits really nice and snug in there, so it's perfect. This will be there. And this will be there. I think that may be my better bet on how this is going to work. All right, so let's take these guys off. They will go in later. First, I am going to place, or maybe we could go like this, off center. I think that would be really nice. So first, cover that, and we're going to put Just kind of hold it there for a minute. I really wish I had a weight or something that I can put on top here. Now, that comes a little trickier part here. One, and it doesn't really matter what side you put them. So, I'm going to put some glue on the edge of my glass. If I can get it out, which is an issue that I'm having. Very little, you don't want too much. Just enough to, believe it or not, you're going to mark you can mark where it's going to be. All right, and then we'll put some more underneath. And just try to have it 
centered. It feels pretty much in the middle there. And now you take it off and right around there goes your hot glue to hold it in place. And it really is only until only until it dries because the the uh, hot glue doesn't really stick to the glass so it's really just to keep it in place while your E6000 dries and that's what's going to hold it where it needs to be okay this one is a little easier we're going to need the glue all the way around the edging of the bowl so we're just going to go like this. A little bit of alcohol and wet my tissue a little bit and just kind of clean up the edges of the excess glue around the glass. The alcohol will help separate, especially the hot glue that doesn't really stick to glass. And our platter is done. And here is the platter on my work table. Don't mind the craziness around it. I'm in the process of painting some uh, Christmas ceramics for my shop. But there it is. Nicely finished and ready to go and be used. I love it. I love the whole uh, leaf thing. This whole red and orange leaf patterns. I, I'm just loving it. Absolutely loving it. Plus, not only is it pretty, it's, it's going to be so practical. You know, there's the bowl for the dips. And I have the big platter. I can put chips, little sandwiches, cheese and crackers on the plate. I mean, I can just make it very multifunctional. And I can have all sorts of different appetizers that I can put all in one plate. So I'm excited about this. Looking forward to using it this Thanksgiving. It'll be great. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you liked it. It's quick and easy, very simple. Um, so I hope this inspired you to go out and make your platters with this uh, beautiful set of uh, melamine dishes and platters that Dollar Tree came out this year. Um, I'm looking forward to the Christmas black and red buffalo plaid that I saw is coming. I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's see what they come out with that. And I just may do something similar to this with uh, the red and black for my Christmas table. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. In the meantime, keep crafting and be happy. Bye-bye.